Oh, hey. Oh, goodness. You startled me. What are you doing here? I mean, welcome. Hey, welcome to the land Labrador. Today is a harvest day. The day we give thanks to... I mean, A, we give thanks to the glorious life we live. You should live. Or stay if you like. It's up to you. I should go. Or, I mean, uh, inform everyone of your arrival. <laughs> hey! Hey! They are coming! The Sir Edwin! The Sir Edwin's things are coming! <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, travelers! Your Mary Beth just ran past and say we have visitors. Don't pay attention to that sweet young girl. She can be quite timid at times. Tends to get a little frightened when outsiders come to our village. We don't get many visitors these days. So, welcome. Welcome to Labrador. You've come precisely at a time we absolutely need you the most. Thank you. Please, please, make yourselves at home. Enjoy your stay. Meeting the other villagers, browse, talk, laugh, but don't go anywhere. Not that we can make you safe, because we, we just can't. We just adore newcomers. Well, have fun. I have a lot to get done before the harvest. Okay. He's walking at a slow pace. Let's check this out though. Shall we? Any el anyone else find this place to be a bit peculiar? Is that a eccentric? Evil? Honestly, evil? What exactly is evil about this place? I thought we were here to help these villagers from blasphemers and evildoers and those that are puppets and to your order. You are blind. Kitra Shusara, blinded by your ignorance and hatred? Oh, I see just fine. Quite clear actually. Hopefully this place is so evil in your eyes that we don't say burn it to the ground. Wait, what? Why would we burn anything to the ground? Because that's what her order does. If they can cleanse what seems wrong in their eyes, they purge it, burn it, wipe it from existence. Oh, Kyoto Sara, you know nothing of our ways. I know plenty. Enough! Nothing is getting burned, nobody getting purged, and we are not wiping anything from existence. Let's just explore the village a bit more, find out what's truly going on here. Oh, I do hope there's a harvest though. Do you see they're having a festival too? Oh, I just love festivals. What? <laughs> All right, let's start it. Good day, sir. Everything is fine. Just standing. Okay. Slay the ship for its wool. Not yet. Starting to loot the items. So, about like, oh my god, what is this? Okay, so about this exploration, we'll 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 leave that to the next episode. Oh my! Oh dear! 
the harvest is very soon, and I'm not looking forward to. Oh, I thought you were my husband. <laughs> Once again, the harvest. So very excited about it. It's a day we give our thanks. Thanks for being alive and well. Can't wait. Well, better get back to work. Okay. I gotta get a feeling. My plant is dying. I've tried watering it. I even tried to sing into it. Nothing seems to be working. Perhaps I can help a lady. Could you? Oh, I'd be most grateful if you save my plant. Yes, friend. What are you going to do? A simple water spell. She tried watering it already. She hasn't tried magic water though. <laughs> Is that different than the normal water? Much different. Trust in this friend. Okay, love this friend magically water the plant. Sure, why not? What just, what just I work my magic? Hey, ah. what? Uh, let me try again. <laughs> and again. Let's try this, man. What the freak? You killed it! You murdered my plant! Lord, that is, we're here off this. Well, we're making quite an impression on the village. <laughs> Dearest William, I'm very sorry, my latest. I have not been reaching you. Mail has been running so as of late due to the recent goblin and bandit infection in the forest. I do miss you. And as soon as I give it, I'm given an opportunity to come visit, I will. Lord Sarris has forbidden us to leave, the, to leave until the harvest is complete. There's still much work to be done. Once our tasks here are finished and the forest is a bit safer, I'll come and visit you straight away. Please forgive me. I still have to flower you. I still have a flower you gave me. It reminds me of the time we spent together at the lake. I love and miss you. Ah, always on my mind, Gloria. Ow, we just. We just burn her plant. Oh my god, we just burn her love of her lover's plant. That's so sad. But can we rest here though? Obviously not. And let's go. Oh my god, and there are so many people though. They are definitely not short on food. It appears so. I saw these people were starving. That's been the word around the forest. 
Some flame fall is a food. They all seem to friendly and welcome me, but at the same time, foreboding. Well, it's clear what we must do. What's that? Burn a village. What's with you and burning village? Bah! Get moving. <laughs> Okay, it's sent for her. I just adore living in Darren Bar. We are nestled in the middle of the woods, birds chirping, breeze blowing, the warm sun beating down on earth. Birds are singing, flowers are blooming, and the next sentence. <laughs> no, 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 no. That was, that was from the other game. I cannot say it here. I couldn't ask for a more wondrous place to live. Hey, I love it. I sure do. Nothing wrong here. Nothing at all. Life's just dandy. Okay. Better go back to work before. I mean, because I want to. Why beautiful day out, isn't it, sir? It's a beautiful day outside. <laughs> Just harvesting all these crops for, for you now. For you know the village. Nobody else, just us villagers eating like royalty. Roti. Busy, 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 and very busy. What is this? By the way, I got some. Ah <laughs> yeah, it was a merchant back there. Also, there's no NPC like another day of harvesting since I. All we do ever do is plant, tend, and harvest. And then, guess what we do? We plant again, tend, and harvest. Oh, but I love it. No complaints here. Harvesting away. Can't talk any longer. Sorry, lots of work to get done. It's almost time. Right. Where are you? Young, young fishman. Nothing like wasting the day away in the front of the lake catching some fresh water salmon. Sometimes I'll even put off something better than the fish. Why? Just yesterday I fished up an old chest. There were, there were t only torn up clothes inside, but who knows what else one could find. Here. I have an actual fishing pole sitting around. It's yours! <gasps> oh, nice! It's a fishing pole! We can, we can finally get a salmon right now. That's pretty nice. Hmm? Oh, hey, nice. Okay, so you can only use it for once. Right? That's right. We gotta, we gotta get this one. Whoa! You fish out a copper chest. What? <laughs> Is that a surprise or something? Let's check this out. Okay. So, uh, okay, let's see. Okay, so there are no people here, and it's a bad thing. Oh, good goodness, a customer. Hello there, greetings, welcome. Don't mind the mess. 
inventory keeps growing, but the shop stays at the same size. And with no customers to buy anything, well, you can see the pickle I'm in. But you are a customer, and you have gold, I'm sure, so please take a look at my wares. Oh, by the way, can't really afford to buy anything. As you can see, I run out of room, so I'm selling only. Well, uh, okay. Like, I do not know. Let's buy some no more, I think. Okay. So there's no red spot there. It's another it's another home. It's another house, I mean. There's no people there, so you cannot call home. So what is this one? Though. Let's check this out though. Whoa! Okay. Mm. Full checklist. Six crates of cabbage, four bags of carrots, five baskets of tomatoes, five buckets of turnips, four baskets of ap apples, three baskets of pears. Uh, live outside the cave by midnight. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's weird. There's no people here. What? Hmm. I think we we gotta like we gotta like, get something here. So sometimes we can use the items, sometimes we can use tier scale. And yep, there's nothing here. Excuse me, did you just kill one of my sheep? Who do you say you are just come? You are to just come here, step foot on my property, and kill my livestock. Please leave, or I'll force to report you in all Sathrig. What if I try to kill another one? I warned you, sir, and what did you do? You slaughtered my last ship. I'm reporting you to Lord Sathrig. Uh, well, that can't be. I just wanted the wool. It's so soft. Ow. Are we getting a bad reputation of it? I don't know. Okay, I, I didn't notice you at the first place. I love you. So peaceful and quiet. I couldn't ask for a happy place today. Wait, what? It's calm indeed, but it's abnormally calm. So let's go back here. Okay, so there's there are actually more. Whoa! I'll check this update. Or let's check it out though. No, never mind. I'm gonna just wait it. Oh, FICO. Nice. We almost got it bad though. The pit is kind of rare. 
But anyways, let's keep going. Reginald, fantastic! You're here. What? Wait, what? What? What does that mean? Why, Sir Edwin? It's so fantastic, lovely to see you again. Okay. Well, if it is a small good of miscreants, I see you've been terrorizing our villagers. My husband, Lord Cedric, will want to have a word with you. Wait a second. Oh, you are in trouble now. Friend murderer! Welcome to the Lord Cedric's Manor. Okay, so you are all here. At first, I was excited to hear your arrival. Now, uh, I'm not so sure. Destruction of personal property, slaughter of a livestock. They are all calling you the Larabird Bandit. Is that truly the route you wish to go down, my friend? I'd like to think not. Shame, shame, shame. The only logical punishment I could come up with was a fine. Hey, you hurt me. A fine in gold. Fifteen gold should suffice. Five for the plane destroyed and five for each ship killed. Oh my god. Well, this may settle the physical damage you've done. It will not ever need the emotional state you've put in my people though. Fortunately for you, I have a bigger fish to fry. Oh, a pun. I just love puns. One, I think the best discussed upstairs, shall we? Oh my god, why is it so dark here? So, Grog and his goblins have been offering to protect your village as long as you provide them with enough food for a year? That is bringing the up abundance of crops. We were exactly given a choice on the matter. Grog and his army outnumber us ten to one. Goblins to bring at uh, an alarming rate. Like I said, cockroaches! Oh, we've gotten ourselves in quite a predicament. What do you say? I think the only logical thing would be to. Fear not, Sir Liz is here to save the day! Reginald and I should start their evil lair, slay this wretch. Grog and save the damsel in distress. Right, Reginald? Absolutely. If only there was a damsel in distress to actually save. Dang it, there isn't, though. What? No damsel? Then why are we here? Reginald, why are we here? To save this poor innocent. Ah, right now. That's that, that is what we must do. He's so brave. Well, there may be may not be a damsel, but oh dear, I don't want to tell them. What do we call them? What do we tell them, Claudia? Oh, I can't. I just can't. You do it. Well, you see, the crops aren't for Grog and his goblins. Then, who are they for? Goblins and ogres tend to eat well meat. Alright? And our village isn't us. Well, well, it isn't us public Populated as it once was, and they tend to like you. They tend to like human beings. 
do you truly not see where I'm going with this? Sir Edwin, I believe she is trying to tell us the goblins have been taking their people and eating them. No wonder. Oh, dear. Not exactly taking them. More like we've been giving them away. What? So, who's eating the crops? I'm so confused. The villagers. That room bog is giving their people to grow us food. I'm assuming the crops are used to fatten them up. That's appalling! When you first arrived, well, I saw your arrival as a blessing. Cedric and I were dreading the decision of which four villagers to hand over. And then four outsiders happened to stroll through. You're going to sacrifice us to the dragon? There's a dragon? I believe he was using the metaphor, sir. Oh. Either way, no need to get so downhearted. Ragnar and I should save the villagers as well. The ones that haven't been eaten, I assume. When do we head out? Well, therein lies a, another problem. There's no problem Retina and I cannot solve. Perhaps this one... Nay! There is a problem we cannot solve. Not a single one of them. Their lair is sealed by the ancient Delcanian doorway. We cannot solve the problem. Regina, there's a problem we cannot solve. We'll figure it out, sir. Right on, Regina, we always do. I grew up in capital. My lady, you can talk. I saw you were a mute. Regina, she's not a mute. I was taught many different languages. Barbara, Carta, Draven, even an ancient town of Delkin Rock. Wondrous new, so you can open this door? Hey, I can open the door. What? You are trying to tell me that the little scary door can open these ancient doors? <laughs> How bloody convenient! I'm not making this up. The mage can conveniently pass through these magical glyphs. And the slavery just happens to possess the power to open these ancient doors? Hey, that's correct. Well, if Sir Little C and this Reginald are the ones to rescue Laren Ball, what of Sir Edwin and his band of merry followers? Well, Oh wow. So uh what? What is this? Anyways, let's go. Whoa. This wing will not let off. Any word on Sardisty? I just check in with your Sardic, still no sign of them. It's been three days. I'm aware of that. It's rained two of these three days. Let's let's get fifth fifth rain and tea. It's time we do matters in our own hands. About time. Oh, let's certainly do it. He's so valiant. He's so brave. I sound nothing like that. Another lovely day in that bar. Is this rain ever going to let up? And the, and the point is, 
you're standing, you're standing in the rain. What? It's time. Four. Oh, do you finally get to rescue the billion Sir Lizzie and his marvelous, fantastic magic ally, Reginald? Right now, shall we venture forth? You really should have made James about Sir Lizzie. He's the one of most chivalrous, chivalrous, and selfish, humble. Far from it. Is this what you two do at night? Find ways to both fun and certainly, certainly see and his fantastically wonderful match AI, Reginald. We share a tiny cottage. Our beds are practically touching. There's nothing to do in this trap and though some town. I think it's best we continue, and I'll forget I even heard of any of this. Let's head into Gross Lair and rescue Sir Lacy, shall we? How did you know? I foresaw in a dream last night. You overheard our conversation just now. Kid, why do you continue to talk me to talk that? It's Kid Charles Shusara. My friends call me Kid. Kid is Kurakala la. Enough. Really, I literally just say my name, Ted Bin. Ted Bin? Who's Ted Bin? Let's go. So, where's the checkpoint? I need my checkpoint. I want my checkpoint. I want my checkpoint. I want my checkpoint. Time to go back once again. No trespassing. <laughs> oh my! I don't think it's a good idea to leave just yet. Not until we know Sir Lizzy and Reginald are safe. Oh come on! Ah. I got refused to have that. Ow. Is there really nothing while during the rain? Oh, silver angel fish. What is that? Wow, there's so many fish, not just that one. Oh, hey. Speak of speaking about silver. Here it is. One cannot fish without a pole. <laughs> so what was that? I don't know what did I get though. So are we doing a genocide run? I don't know. I don't know if this game has a genocide run. We will just know we are standing in the rain. <laughs> Do you like rain? I personally are half is half half. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Sir Edwin. Just rummaging through my bookcase, you know, cleaning and sorting. But here I am. Rambling on and on when there are more pressing matters at hand, such as thirty C and Reginald. Three days have passed and no word. I'm beginning to fear the worst. That's why we are here. It's time you sent us in, my lord. Yes, yes. That was the plan. If Sir Little C fell, how unfortunate that he did. A monument of him. Would have been more pleasing on the eyes than well. 
monument or not, it's an honor to save this village. You've been most hospital, hospitable. And I must read of the world of this Grog and his demonic minions. I was willing to allow Sir Lee to see the opportunity, but since he appears to have failed in his quest, he has come down to us. I will not leave until we smile this brass fancy transgressors. Lord Sartre, uh, Lord Sartric, I, Sir Edwin Pemberton of the Crossroads, Dumbarton, swear to the Red Larva and surrounding forest of grass evil ring. Let your torrent never part no more. Thank you, sir. Never part will forever be in your debt. Unless you fail, then I'll be tucking my head between my legs while grog. Well, no need for such vulgarities. Please, succeed. Oh, and if you run into any trouble inside the mine, don't be foolish like Sir Lizzie clearly was. Free the mine and rest. The guest house is available in the event you and your party need needed some much needed recovery. Okay. Good luck! Thank you. Thank you so much. Good day, sir. That's it. Rachel time, part three. And the four witches laugh with delight. They are incessant, banter hollow within the haze that surrounded him. Oh, he is feisty. One teeter to his laugh. He smells of fear, of anger, and sweat. Another torment from behind. I love it. I wish to taste them, savor every awful emotion that seeps from his soul. The third teeth to his right. Okay. Nice. Life is looking up for us in Larabar. I realize Sir Little C and his friend haven't returned, but I'm staying hopeful. Ah. Okay, so what is all this? It's been three days and no sign of Sir Little C and Reginald? Looks like it's time for our alternate. Before you head off, take this. It will likely come in handy. Oh, fire powder. What is that? Wow, two magic dust that will combine with kindling will start fire. Oh, it's that. Okay, gotcha. Finally, we can save the progress here. Oh my gosh! Wow. Okay, I think I think that's the that's the mission of the end of the episode. I think, <laughs> and yeah. Finally, oh my gosh! It's been so long since we haven't since we saved the file. Anyways, guys, I think I think that's it for this episode. And hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you next time. Take care.